it's fantastic exhibiting at, at Charleston because for so long now I have it's sort of become sort of myth really because I've read the books about Carrington and Strachey and the relationship between Virginia Woolf and looked at the paintings of Duncan Grant and Vanessa Bell. They are a group of people who were also very much into their home and their interior and decoration. And that decoration was also incorporated into their paintings, extended. There was no sort of separation, if you like, between the decoration of the house and the paintings. There was this enormous visible link between all those facets of their art. Their art was about their life, really, and about their relationships between each other. And there also their aesthetic awareness of beauty in the furniture and the ceramics. I think was, I feel an incredible simpatico with that. And the grounds and the garden and the way that they needed a landscape and sculptures and grass and trees around them. There's a sort of a way of sort of almost looking after yourself and healing yourself being in this, a place like that, nurturing yourself, nurturing yourself in the home. I think also that the, the thing about Duncan Grant and Vanessa Bell was that they were, and Roger Fry, they brought over, they incorporated, they had looked at European art, they'd looked at Picasso, they'd looked at Matisse, they were receptive, they were almost like the first artists, the first modernists, if you like, coming out of the Victorian age, out of the very sort of, I suppose you would have, before that you would have the um, um, pre-Raphaelites. So you have this amazing sense of colour in the pre-Raphaelites, of course, but what they brought in to being was abstraction, awareness of line and form, and um, there was a kind of a new way of looking and, and expressing in a, in a contemporary way. And they were the first forerunners, really, of contemporary art, I think, in, in Great Britain, because they were ridiculed, and it was a terrible re reaction to the ex exhibition that Roger Fry organised initially, which shows how conservative the London scene was at that time. The innovation that they brought was um, very important and the way that they incorporated it, the Omega workshop with the clothes and the furniture and it was all a holistic experience really, the whole thing was a holistic experience of it all being part of each other and the art and the painting was part of that. <laughs>